Today I'm going to show you the importance of an array list in Java. Now you might say, what do I need an array list for? I can just use the basic and simple array. And I get you, I used to say that as well, but I'll show you that array lists are really easy and really really useful. So let's get started. So, the first thing we have to do is create our class in which we will do the testing. So, I'll just right click new Java class and name it array list test. We'll include main and just click finish. And the second thing we need to do is import the Java utility package because that's where the array list is located so you'll just do import java.util.all okay and now we are ready to do tests with our array list now the difference between an array list and array is the size of the array cannot be changed so you have to create a new array with bigger size and transfer all the elements while the size of an, array, of an array list can be changed. You can just add the elements and don't need to worry about the size. In fact, you don't even declare the size of an array list. It can be as low or as big as you want it to be. And now I will show you some examples. So when you're creating a basic simple array, you will type something like string array then the name equals to new string array and you will type I don't know the size 10 and now you have a new array which holds strings and its length 10 but what happens if you need to add another another string you will have to create the new array and copy all the data from that array to your new array which takes time and it takes space on the disk. So we now have a simpler solution. We can create an array list. And you do that by typing array list. And inside these brackets, you write the name of the object you want to store inside. So in this case, we want to write string. String. So it's the same like this string over here. Or you can write your own class like car. Let's say you have a class called car and you want to store cars in your array list. Or you can store integers. So you put the name of data you want to use inside, but make sure to remember that you cannot write the primitive data types like int or double. You need to use their um, bigger classes like integer and string so no primitive data types and once you write that you will write the name so let's say cars equals to new array list and here you can also write string but you don't have to it's optional so let's leave that empty and then you call a constructor which is empty in this case and now you have an array list of strings called cars and inside that you can add certain elements and now that you know what an array list is and how to actually create one let's look at some methods which you can perform or your newly created array list so we have array list named cars and obviously we will add some cars inside the method in which you add elements to the list is called add so you take the name of your array list and you put the dot and add and you add your object so we added three cars and now we can print the car with the get method so we access the element on the zero index zero index is bmw and we can print it out if we want to change what car is at the zero index, we can use the set method. So you put the index in which you want to change and you put the new object. 
so it will replace BMW with the Tesla and uh, again we print the element in the zero index which is the one right here but we switched it to Tesla so it's now Tesla and then we remove the car at the index number two which is Ford so if you want to remove something from the list you just do dot remove and now we can print the size of our array list that's like the length of our array so in this case 10 in this case it would be 3 because we have 3 cars inside our array list actually 2 since we removed the fourth and now we again add the Ferrari and the fun thing about array lists is they are iterable so you can use the for each loop to iterate through them and this C represents a single car from the from the list and this represents our array list so we'll go over every car inside our cars and just print it out so let's run this and see if it works and that's it from the array list there are many other commands which you don't have to know uh, you can just look them up whenever you need something you can just google how to do this in array list obviously it's impossible to remember all the commands but as you can see, it is really simple. You can just add elements, remove elements, and you don't have to worry about the size. Also a great thing that is that it is an iterable, so you can use the for each variation of the for loop to iterate through the elements, which is really, really useful. And that's it. That's the better version of arrays in Java. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below.